from Television City in Hollywood, it's the Mary Tyler Moore Hour with Mary's special guest, Dick Van Dyke. Soon it's gonna rain, I can feel it. Soon it's gonna rain, I can feel it. Pimento tell. loaf, anyone? Uh, no, no thanks. I'll pass. I? I thought you liked pimento loaf. No, Ruby, it's you who likes pimento loaf. That's right. Well, I knew it was one of us. <laughs> Just watch Mary show But here's that rainy day. Here's Orange the Crush, anyone? Rainy day. Uh, no, thank you. We're just going to watch Mary's show. And I laughed at the thought that it might turn out this way. are watching Mary's show and we are not going to turn the channel. But Love Story is on. Turn to Channel 5 right away. <laughs> Iris, you've seen that movie five times. Well, you saw your show at the studio. Well, that's true. Is... I if we turn it on right now, we can catch Ella McGraw coughing. Oh, I love it when she calls him preppy. Yes, and my favorite is when if she... If you two are so interested in that movie, why don't you watch it on the kitchen set? No! I'd rather watch her die in color. We interrupt the Mary McKinnon show to bring you a special news bulletin. Aw, gee. A major brush fire has started in Corona Canyon. Corona Canyon? Shh. Firefighters on the scene say that none of the hillside homes which dot the area are in danger at the present time. However, if the winds shift, some of those homes could be threatened. We return you now to the Mary McKinnon Show. Corona Canyon? Why, that's practically next door. No, no, it is. It's miles away. Fires travel, you know. Remember Rome? It went just like that. <laughs> Ruby, Ruby, there is nothing to worry about. There's no danger. Just relax. If the wind shifts, we could be singed to the bone. <laughs> oh, Ruby, will this make you feel better? Tyler Moore are sponsored by Bounce, the fabric softener that works in the dryer. Bounce gets clothes soft, gets rid of static cling, and gives clothes a long-lasting freshness that lasts for days. Bounce has a long-lasting fresh smell. It makes clothes smell fresh long after they come out of the dryer. And women just love it. My wife tried this jacket with Bounce a week ago. Took it out this morning, and it still smells line-dried fresh. I tried this with Bounce days ago, and it still smells 
fresh. And clothes come out soft. They sure do. This dress has just the right amount of softness. It's comfortable, but not limp. I used Bounce on Tom's shirt Thursday. It still smells fresh. And there's no static cling at all, because Bounce works in the dryer where static builds up. See? My socks don't cling to my pants. Mine don't either. I dried my jacket with Bounce last week, and it still smells outdoor fresh. Bounce's unique combination of fresheners work in the heat of your dryer to give your clothes long-lasting freshness. The freshness of Bounce lasts for days. <laughs> but Bounce doesn't stay in the store long. <laughs> Bounce, for long-lasting freshness your family will love. It's something new, it's something new from Frisky's Buffet. It's salmon, it's salmon, new salmon dinners from Buffet. It's salmon, it's salmon, new catch for the day. New salmon dinner and new salmon and liver dinner, both with the delicious taste of the deep. Now there are 20 Frisky's Buffet meat, poultry, and fish gourmet cat dinners. No wonder these cats won't walk away from Frisky's Buffet. It's salmon, it's salmon from Frisky's However, this situation could change if the wind shifts. And now let's try to contact Doug Samuelson in Mobile 6. Morning. What are you doing? Quiet. Shh. I'm on fire watch. Thank you, Deborah. <laughs> that Corona Canyon fire has been raging out of control all night. No homes are in danger. However, the situation could change if the wind shifts. Thank you, Doug. In the studio with me is Fire Chief Arnold Haber. Chief, can you add anything to the latest fire update? Well, the, the Corona Canyon fire has been raging out of control all night. No homes are in danger. However, the situation could change if the wind shifts. <laughs> fire! Fire! Ruby, no, Ruby! It's cellophane. It's just cellophane. Will you calm down? No, oh, I can't. I'm too nervous about the fire. I have this terrible feeling that I'm going to be cremated before I'm dead. <laughs> are really making much too much out of this. I know, I know, but I've always been so frightened of fires. It's gonna be all right. <sighs> Is there any breakfast? Oh, I'm sorry. I was too nervous to make it. Oh. There's some nice pimento loaf left over from last night. I don't think so. I'll go fix something. Oh, no, Mary, don't leave me alone, please. Ruby, listen. At 10 o'clock, Iris is coming over. I have an 11 o'clock fitting. I have to meet with Dick Van Dyke in Harry's office. There's a chance he may be doing the show. I have a lot of things to do today. Uh, you're lucky. You have something to keep your mind off of all this. I'll go make coffee. Oh, no, Mary. Please don't leave me alone, Mary. do I'll make instant. <laughs> How about this one, Harry? What we do is we get Dick Van Dyke as the prince. He approaches the tower. He calls out, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. The camera moves in, pans all the way up to the top of the tall tower. Mary sticks her head out. She has long, flowing hair. Then she, she takes, takes off a wig, wig and throws, throws it, it down? down? Yes. No. <laughs> Boy, that bit's antique. I mean, you're the head writer. You're supposed to write, not remember. That bit is a classic. Yeah. So is the Mona Lisa, but I wouldn't put her on the show. Now, come on. Dick's on his way over here. If we can come up with some fresh material, something he'll really like, he'll want to do a guest shot on the Mary McKinnon show. All right, all right. I'm thinking. And boy, Dick can sure help us with the ratings. You know, we got hurt last night. They showed Love Story opposite us. I think the whole country was watching us. How about this? Dick plays Superman. Yeah? He's dressed as Clark Kent. Mary is Lois Lane. She's in distress. He goes into a phone booth. Yes? He takes off his...